Okay, we are set up and ready for our next fast facts example. But you guys are gonna be with me this time while I label what is what. Our problem we're gonna be working with is 975 divided by four. 975 is my dividend, the number we are breaking apart. Four is my divisor. And then our answer to the division problem is our quotient. Now I'm gonna get ready for the fast facts. And remember, we make our fast facts using our divisor. So we're gonna do the fast facts of four. Now to save us some time, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the recording, fill this out, and then come back to you. You know how on like cooking shows, they're like, oh, in the magic of television, here it is, done out of the oven. I'm about to put this in the oven for you. So give me a second, and we'll be right back. Okay, I'm back a little sooner than you probably thought I would be because I want to remind you of the zero trick. So what I can do, is go ahead and multiply four times two and get eight. And I can fill that in for the rest of that group. Now, I have a zero and 20, so I need to put a zero here to make it 80. I've got two zeros and 200, so I'm gonna put two zeros here to make 800. Four times five would give me 20, so I'm gonna go ahead and write 20 all the way down. I need that zero put back on, and then these two guys also, okay. We've got our fast facts, good to go. Now let's build the problem. I'm gonna take my dividend, 975, put it inside, I don't know what this is called, like the division arm, I don't. We're gonna put it inside that guy. And then we're gonna bring the tail, I've decided it has a tail now, all the way down so we can separate it in two different areas. And then we'll put our, didn't open my marker. Guys, I'm filming this on Friday at like 4.30 and I think I've done like 20 videos today. So I'm sorry, it's just, it is how it is. So we're gonna put the four on the outside. Now I'm ready to get started. I need to get my colors ready. We are looking at 975. What is the closest we can get to 975 without going over? Well, that would be 800. To make 800, I took my divisor and I used the fast fact of 200. So I'm gonna write that outside so you can see it is there and ready. Now I'm going to subtract. Five minus zero is five, seven minus zero is seven, and nine minus eight is one. My new target number is 175. What is the closest I can get to 175 without going over? Well, I see 200. That's pretty close to 175, but I went over. So I guess I'm gonna go with 80. To make 80, we multiplied our divisor by 20. Now I'm ready to subtract. Five minus zero is five. 17 minus eight would be nine. So now I've got 95. Oh, it looks like I'm using 80 again. Five minus zero is five, nine minus eight is one. Again, you're probably like, uh, Willis, do we just go forever and forever and forever? No, you don't. You stop when your target number is less than your divisor. 15 is not less than four, so we're still going the biggest I can get or the closest I can get without going over would be eight. That's multiplying it by two. That'll leave me with seven. Okay, heads up guys. When you're going and filling this in and you're going down the side, you might have some numbers that repeat. That's fine, I have 20 and 20. But as you're going down, the number should be getting smaller. If I go like 200, 20, 50, you did something wrong. You're either repeating or getting smaller as you go down this side. That's a good way to check it as you go. 
Okay, the closest to seven without going over would be four. And that just use this one. And now I'm left with three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Three is less than my divisor. So I stop. I'm going to circle that guy. That's my remainder. I'm going to write it up here before I forget. Now, to figure out the rest of your answer, you're going to take the fast facts you used and add them together. So 200, 220, 240, 242, 243. Don't forget that guy. Remainder three. Now, let's check it. Remember to check it. Oh, man. Remember to check it. We said we would multiply the quotient and the divisor, but it's a little different this time because you have a remainder. So we're going to multiply these guys together. And then if I add three to that product, that answer, I should get my dividend of 975. Let's check it. So I have 243 times four. Four times three is 12. Two goes down, one goes up and over. Four times four is 16 plus one makes 17. Seven goes down, one goes up and over. Four times two is eight plus one makes nine. And now I need to take my remainder of three and add that. Two plus three is five, seven, nine. Okay. If our dividend that we started with this whole time is 975, we did it right. We did it, guys. Fantastic. I will tell you on your quick check that you should take next, there are no remainders. If you get a remainder on those, you did it wrong. So heads up. You're going to need to know how to work with remainders next week this week. Just practice your procedure. Okay, bye guys. That was cringy.